In today's video, I'm going to give you some tips to help you WQ your own ranked or tournament games. Make sure to stick till the end of this video, cause without the last tip, none of this will work. Before we get into it, we already have 36 people using my code, so thanks to all of you guys. If you do want to support me, then make sure to use Koldukicha in the item shop. First tip to improve your W King is aiming to the chest. Now one of the most important things about W King is how much health advantage you get on your opponent. So first beam matters the most, and that's why you have to make the most out of it. So when people try to beam someone, they make a massive mistake by aiming at their head. Reason why this is a mistake is as follows. Firstly, there's something called a recoil in every game. This means that when you shoot a lot of bullets from a spray weapon like an SMG or an AR, your crosshair goes up. So if you aim to the head, your crosshair is gonna go up and you're going to miss a lot of shots. And I guarantee that you didn't know that chest hitbox is 9 times bigger than head hitbox. That means it's 9 times easier to hit your opponents to the chest than head. This is crucial when you're in a box and in a 50-50. Or even essential when you're starting a fight off with a beam. So next time you see someone and you want to W key them, remember to not aim your AR or whatever at their head. Instead, aim to the chest and remember what I said about recoil? Now when you aim to the chest, not only you will hit a lot of shots, but your crosshair is gonna go up and you might be able to hit some headshots before your enemy reacts. Tip number two is not losing your track over your opponent. A lot of people in the Fortnite Pro community call this the number one priority in fights. Tracking your opponents during fights is crucial. If you're an RH player, then you probably don't have this skill improved. So instead of doing double or even triple edits in a fight, try to keep the track of your opponent. So moving forward for every single match that you play or any fight that you're in, mentally think, I must keep the track of my opponent. Especially you came to this video to gain knowledge about W King. And W King is all about aggression. So if you're an aggressive player, then good for you. Cause keeping the track of your opponents is way easier when you're aggressive than when you're passive. Before we get to the rest of the video, you should check out my course on how to improve in Fortnite. It's called Relentless Academy. Relentless Academy is for people that are tired of being at the same level for too long. You play the game every day but you simply cannot improve and more importantly don't know what to improve. We all have those times where we hit a skill gap and are just not able to improve for a certain amount of time. But if you don't do anything about it like most people, that's when you give up the chances of becoming a pro and you'll be on your way to downfall. To prevent that from happening, me and my team made a course where we teach people how to improve every aspect of the game massively. So I'll be waiting for you there. Tip number 3 is to stop being impatient. A lot of people and even past me used to think that if a fight takes too long, you have to make a big play that will either win you the fight or lose you the game. Which is wrong and you should get that out of your head. Now this doesn't mean being a pussy though. If your intuition is telling you to make a play, even if fight didn't take too long, then I would trust it. Cause if you don't, that means you don't trust your abilities and you're not confident in yourself. Not trusting your intuitions will make you slow and obviously one of the most important tips are that you have to be quick in everything. So if you think about a certain thing and then you hesitate or second guess yourself, then you need to work on your confidence my friend. But more on being patient is to not force anything while fighting. Do not make a stupid edit course or some dumb sh** to look cool cause none of these tips will help you if you're just gonna be a d head running around trying to click some players. Cause if you clicked on this video, then that means you wanna make it easier to W key people and not using your brain will lose you every fight and none of the tips that I've listed will help you. Tip number 4 is prediction. Just like in chess, when you're pushing someone and fighting them, you have to predict their next move. Whether if that is with build fighting or box fighting. And again, it goes back to the other tip which is speed. If you're not quick enough to predict someone while fighting, then this won't work. Cause in chess you have some time to think because your opponent won't be able to make a play unless you do it first. But in Fortnite your opponent might make a play on you if you're not quick enough to make a play on them. And the thing about predicting is it's not really like a plan. I would say it's more like a feeling. Like you feel that your enemy is gonna go here so let me peace control that you know. I don't know if y'all feel the same but for me that's the only way I can predict it. And obviously you can't be right all the time that's literally impossible. Tip number 5 is a little out of topic but you need this because if i'm not gonna tell you this then nobody will not even yourself and it's to actually practice your weaknesses when you load in fortnite and you go into practice the thing that you're doing wrong is just going in some maps and just playing practicing is not like that at all 
you have to identify your weaknesses and find some solutions for them. So for example, if my aim sucks, I analyze it and I try to find solutions. I'll research what's the best way to improve your aim, maybe try different drills in aim labs and just practice my weakness in general. That's it, I truly think that these tips will help you out if you actually implement them. Hope you guys enjoyed and learned something. Don't forget to subscribe because we're growing so fast right now. My goal is to reach 10k subs by the end of this year and I truly think we can do it. For people that haven't subscribed, help me out, please. As well as use code LUKICHA in the item shop and have a good day.